So because I now moved the only thing that was external in the old prog program uh, was the customer, I can actually just copy the old code into this new program and then I'll start splitting it up slowly. So what I want to do is I want to go back again in my old solution and I just want to find the console application right here and then I'm just going to copy everything in here. Uh, can, uh, yeah, even the fake DB region and everything. So let's just grab everything in here and look at the mess. Look at this mess. It's oh, such a huge class right now. So I'm copying everything and I'm moving it into the new project and then from there I'm going to start splitting it up into smaller bits. Um, let's just paste this in here. There we go. Now this should be ready to go. And of course, since I didn't take the list, I'll have to again grab that namespace because that's from another project called Collections Generic. So I'll grab that one and now that's okay. I also have an error down here. I guess I put in a curly bracket the wrong location or something. Yeah. So let's just remove that curly bracket and now everything seems to be ready to go. And notice because we already explained to the system where the customer is actually coming from, everything should now be running. Let's just uh, hide this fake DB region. That's the first thing I want to move. Let's just try and run this now. And notice the startup project has to be this guy right now. If you try to start this up like this, so I set the, one of the uh, DLL files here, startup project, you'll get an error. Let me try and run this. And it's not allowed because there's no there's no UI hooked into this, so you get something like this. So if you see something like this, a class library cannot be started directly, then you know that you'll have to switch to your actual console app instead, because that can be launched. And hopefully we are back at the beginning, where we actually ended from our another application. There we go. Now we have our list, we have our application moved. We still haven't layered anything, except that we've moved the customer into its own entity layer. So let's now start moving the fake database into the data access layer, and figure out how we can split up this code. See you next time.